good afternoon all on behalf of iot academy we welcome you all for the fourth session of national level faculty refresher program on teaching strategies methodologies and technologies in hgis let me introduce the resource person of today's session dr priyanka chawla dr priyanka chawla is currently working as senior assistant professor at prestige institute of management research indore she is a finance personnel with 12 years of experience in academic domain her qualifications include mba phd from devi ahilya vishwavidyalaya indore and post doctoral fellowship from icssr new delhi she has coordinated and has attended numerous workshops fdps national and international conferences dr priyanka has been invited as a speaker by various organizations and delivered sessions on ict tools research methodology and hands on spss she is the recipient of many awards and was honored with the faculty of the year award in 2020 she has to credit more than 30 publications and has also published two books bearing isbn number we welcome you ma'am and with this we hand over the session to dr priyanka chawla ma'am please thank you so much iot academy and thank you so much ma'am for your for this introduction of mine no, and no. Uh, once again i would like to thank iot academy especially uh, jaya lakshmi ji and her team for continuously inviting me as a resource person i have been associated with iot academy since 2021 so thank you so much so i am going to share my screen so this is the 10th 10 days national level virtual faculty refresher program organized by iit the topic allotted to me was ict tools and effective presentation techniques before we move on to the effective presentation technique i would like to tell you one story with the help of story we will learn the effective ppt techniques and based on ppt techniques i'll let you know the different type of ict tools available so moving on to with this so there was a fair in a village uh, shall i start uh, participants i need your this uh, class would be the interactive one so i need your participation because i'll be asking some questions in the meanwhile so Uh, i'm uh, going to start my presentation with the uh, with some story telling so there was a fair in a village and uh, uh, there the two sellers were passing away from there one seller is having one seller was having a uh, balloon of similar color that is blue color and another seller is having balloon of different colors both were selling balloons but they are selling it in a traditional way we can say uh, they were uh, shouting like uh, it take it from me it cost rupees 5 take it from me it cost rupees 5 they both were selling their balloons in a traditional way and these are the simple balloons um, is my voice audible yes ma'am it is audible so the idea came into their mind they realized that uh, they, uh, no balloon was sold till evening they both realized that people were not taking interest in taking the balloons from them so what was the reason behind this they have a thought on this they thought ki what was the reason behind this one seller what he did he the idea came into his mind what he did the first seller who is having balloon with blue color the idea came into his mind Uh, he decided to attract the customer he decided to attract his audience what he did he drew a picture he drew a cartoon on the balloon he made uh, the he uh, structure he has changed the structure of the balloon and he put some stationary items on the balloon so this was the idea came into the mind of first seller the same blue color balloon he has converted in this form what has happened to this after seeing to this kids were more attracted towards him and the large number of audience gathered there 
after seeing this everybody was astonished and the second seller it was now the challenge for the second seller now it has become the challenge for the second seller to sell these uh, those balloons again what he did he was also astonished to see uh, the large number of uh, people gathered around uh, the first seller so what he did he the second seller the idea of second seller was like he flew up the air filled balloon he released all the multi colored air filled balloon in the sky and started announcing that those who come to me and there will be a uh, competition between the among the people among the kings those whose balloon goes flies in the uh, high uh, goes uh, high in the fly sorry those whose balloon goes fly in the sky will be the winner i'll charge 7 rupees from each competitor and those whose balloon goes high in the sky will be the winner and i will pay that 7 rupees to him everybody rushed towards him and everybody gathered there this was the idea of second sell see earlier they were selling balloons in traditional way but nobody came now what he did what they did they changed their style they changed their method they changed their structure so they, in this way they attracted large number of audience large number of buyers similarly in uh, our day to day life while giving presentation when we give presentation at the time of interview or we can say in the class or at the time of teaching if your content is good but you are not proper in delivering the presentation if you will not deliver the presentation properly then it will not be noticed but if your content is not good but you are capable enough in your presentation with your presentation skills then large number of audience will be attracted and you will be noticed right i hope uh, this story is somehow relate your presentation skills so what is presentation presentation means you are communicating with the audience with a group of people you are their attraction you are the center of the attraction that means you have to answer the questions some people get nervous while answering the question some people know how to answer but they do not deliver it in a proper way so that means to add a cherry on a cake presentation is required you have a proper skill of delivering the presentation right now i will give you one exercise i'll give you exercise on this yang yang garamana good you will be any one of you can give your proper introduction any one of you do you know how to introduce yourself can any one of you give proper introduction what points are to be included while uh, your introduction any one yes ma'am me deepika yes ma'am uh good afternoon uh, ma'am and my dear colleagues i am dr deepika pradhan i did my btech and mtech from bpt odisha uh, i received my phd from nit surat in the month of april 2021 during my research i have published uh, different kinds of uh, sci index journals and scopus index journals and also i have attended many international conferences to share my research ideas and uh, uh, to update myself 
I have also three Indian patents related to communication technology. I have also consultancy with the Academica Private Limited. I have also um, set up my own lab for the nanomaterial uh, based fabrication lab. Uh, I have 13 years of teaching experience. I'm currently I'm working in PICT. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much, ma'am. Ma'am has tried to include all the things. Ma'am has given her introduction in a good way. Uh, but more thing I would like you to introduce in your introductory part. Like while introducing yourself, first of all, you know need is required. First, introduce yourself with your need. Do not add word myself. I I am my name is Dr. Priyanka Chavla, right? Like this. Then you have to tell what you are doing currently. What is your occupation? What you are doing? Suppose my name is Dr. Priyanka Chavla. I'm associated with um, Prestige Institute as a senior assistant professor. After experience, what is your experience? How long you are there in your field? I am I uh, I'm having 12 years of experience, 13 years of experience in academic domain. Then comes about hobbies and then interest. Now, the thing is, uh, people generally get confused between hobbies and interest. Do you know the difference between hobbies and interest? Hobbies means your skills hobbies means your skills your expertise like my hobbies are cooking that means i cook better than others i have skills or car driving is my hobby right swimming right Matlab, it deals with your skills where you are capable enough Interest means everybody is having interest, listening to music, dancing, but you are not capable. You like this. So you can include this also, hobbies and interest. Uh, uh, along with this, you have to in, uh, include your achievements, what you have done. So these things are enough by introducing yourself. Okay. Ma'am has included I mean, almost all the things, except from, I think, hobbies and interest. Right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> OK. So I hope it is clear. So moving towards now, there are some things that you have to remember while delivering your presentation. You should know what your topic is. You should know your topic. Suppose my topic is based on effective presentation skills and ICT tools. So I have to be stick on this topic. I have to be in the track. Don't go here and there. Right? You should know your topic. Otherwise, people will get bored if you go out of the topic. You should know your audience. Like in my case, I should I, I have idea about that these are the people who are from uh, academic, academic background. I know almost uh, there may be some pressure, there may be some experienced person. So we should know our audience, which we are dealing with, and what strategy we are going to adopt. Like whether it may be what teaching pedagogy you are adopting, what strategy you are adopting. Like if I am delivering a session, so I will be using traditional as well as modern approach of pedagogy. Traditional, I'm saying because it is a lecture method. And uh, modern, I'm saying because I'm using different tools. I'll be, I will be using some different tools in my PPT presentation. So what strategy you will be adopting to engage your audience? So engaging your audience in one of, is one of the most difficult tasks. Because if your audience get bored, they either leave the hall or they either with the meeting. So what you have to do while engaging your audience, you have to avoid monotonous voice. Monotonous voice means do not speak constantly or in low volume. 
you have to be energetic raise your voice raise your volume have a pitch volume where it is required interact with audience interact with participation participants the more you involve your participants the more they will like your presentation and how you are going to interact with audience with the help of mcqs with the help of discussions so you have to get your audience involved in your presentation there should be two way communication not one way communication one way communication is like radio or tv we are just listening to them two way communication if two way communication is there then most of the people will be then most of the people will get involved right now while presenting yourself body language is required body language means how you react how you work that means gesture you have to use gesture and this should be the natural gesture gesture means movement of body movement of hands noting your heads right do not keep your hands in the pocket and stand it doesn't look good do not keep hand cup behind your back so there are some people who just close their arms and uh, face the audience so it should not to be done like this and even you should not keep your hands aside just the movement of body and the movement of hands is required another thing is facial expression always wear a smile on your face be cool and calm do not get nervous anywhere if you speak and you forget the reason behind this is because you are not confident enough that's why you are forgetting the things so if you are forgetting that means you are not confident still if you are not confident always wear a smile on your face your posture should be erect and straight do not bend down your posture voice that means slow voice i told you earlier do not speak in a monotonous voice slow voice is a indication of losing the confidence vary your pitch volume stress on the point which you feel that it is actually important take proper breath while speaking eye contact is required in physical classroom eye contact is required but do not stare any anyone uh, for three or more than 5 seconds otherwise it looks bad now the question arises if you are uh, connecting your audience in the online mode how will you connect how will you connect your audience obviously you have to open you have to turn on your camera if you turn off your camera and say and you speak anything then audience get bored because they want to listen you and want to see you eye contact i know that eye contact is not possible that time but that time you have to face your camera uh, your device camera always ask your audience if possible they can turn on their cameras if they turn on their cameras you will not able to see them and you will not judge ki what they are doing obviously listener are more important while speaking always take a pause do not speak fluently allow a period of silence pausing is allowed because listener the audience who are listening to you want some time to adjust what you are saying they want to digest what they want to understand what you are saying what you are speaking ppt slides use of audio visual aids are also applied use as much as images facts and figures charts to prove what you are going to say use of ict tools that i will be incorporating in this session 
there are different type of ICT tool available. The font size should be 30. It should not be below 30. Otherwise, uh, audience cannot see it properly. Write in bullet points. If you want to connect a proper connection with the audience, then it is necessary that you should be an entertainer. I'm not saying the entertainer, uh, you have to act like actor, you have to perform some comedy show. No, you should tell with the help of a story. Student connect or people will connect you if you are a good storyteller. Use as much as quotes. Use as much as idioms. So that people can connect you. Right? Add games, quiz, fun activities in your ICT tools in, uh, during your session. Okay? I hope it is clear. Now, I hope it is clear. Do you have any question related to this or I will solve afterwards because I want to show you one video now. And now after that we will be having a discussion. Thank you. So here I would like to show you one video. I hope it is visible. Yes, ma'am. And now I'm going to play this video. It is in Hindi, but you can see the subtitles are there. Because in this video, after this video, we'll have a discussion. It is in Hindi, but you can see the subtitles. Okay, I'm going to play this. If you want, I can play it one more time if it is required. Can we have discussion on this? Yes, ma'am. We understood. Okay. So, no, it is not required no, to play it again. 
No, no, not necessary. But the gender bias. Am I able? Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Uh, what you observe after watching this video? No, we should bring. We should uh, bring daughters and sons equally responsible. That is. We should bring I mean. lots of. We should bring sons and daughters equally responsible, ma'am. Both are okay. equally. responsible okay. and nowadays i think this trend has come up very few because uh, most of the guys are being taught how to just what to in their clothes yes. and everything because uh, we all blame western culture but once they are there they know the importance of this western culture yes sure thank you, you shelly that's difficult right so we also must see instead of just copying all the western culture which is very much not intended to but if we just what copy these type of things i think that would definitely bring a change in our generation sure sure thank you so much shalya ji any other observations any other participant who would like to speak what you feel after watching this video and what you have observed Uh, ma'am, I want to say something, ma'am. Yes. Uh, we should uh, train to our uh, childrens uh, equally, like uh, they should be disciplined for their daily life. Yes. One more thing that this video is showing us that is change, the change in mindset. We all teach our girls' side. to stand on their own feet but we forgot to get involved our son to get involved in household activities right so this is the change in mindset change in mindset change your life right so this is the change and changes comes everywhere changes are required changes are there in our day to day life right changes can be seen in banking changes can be seen in technology changes can be seen in insurance sector we are moving from hard cash to soft cash traditional way of marketing uh, to modern way of market marketing changes are also seen in education sector right so earlier there was the education which was commenced under the supervision of supervisor or gurus we can say right there were no special classrooms available no labs were available the house of gurus uh, the student used to go in the house of gurus and that was called nilayam right right they uh, students used to sit under the shed of the trees so education has three phases first one is vedic era vedic era means the gurukul system was adopted there texts were recorded on palm leaves using sharp writing instrument and vedas vedic culture spiritual and moral literature were included as their curriculum physical education was the part they had to learn students had to learn what hunting jumping wrestling right so physical education was a part of their curriculum the second thing uh, the second phase was pre independence period but before that with the advent of printing and press in 15th century number of books increased and for that number of libraries were opened the second phase was the second phase of education was pre independence period and this period was influenced by mughals and britishers too the mughals brought islamic culture and british raj opened christian missionary schools after british raj 
colonial system was uh, came into the picture and there was a dominance of english language that means there was a great demand of english that time and this was the base of higher education third one is the third phase was of post independence period in post independence period the host of education institution was set up by the government many uh, premier schools were there uh, government schools were there iits ims were established private institution was set up and quality education were focused even girls education were em emphasized after this we can see a change in education in the form of different pedagogies we have adopted so what you have understood by looking this picture this is the classroom and the teacher is teaching so what you have understood by looking into this picture what do you have understood after looking into this picture it is classroom teaching this is a classroom yeah. teaching yes there are two pedagogies one is modern another one is traditional in traditional method we use lecture method this is the class where more number of students are sitting 30 or 60 and whatever teacher is explaining to them they are just writing it down right we can say it is the fixed classroom whatever teacher is delivering they are just taking it in, into their mind they are sitting in the four walls of the classroom in computer we see that if we want to transfer the file from one computer to another similarly teacher is delivering the session and whatever she is delivering they are delivering to the students and the students are taking to it they are preparing notes also but not their own whatever teacher makes them to write they are writing it so this is the traditional form of teaching right teacher is just dictating the lesson here knowledge is fixed then we move on to the online learning this is the new method online means e learning student is not sitting inside the four wall of classroom they are more into the online learning they are getting something extra there are there are seminars workshops are organized and role of teacher has become changed now they have changed to facilitator then we come to blended learning it is the mixture of classroom learning and online learning that means there is innovative teaching method is adopted hybrid learning we can say the role of teacher from sage on stage to become guide on side earlier she was on the stage and she was dictating this lesson but now she has become a facilitator she has become a facilitator and now they are guiding their students from their sides right so there are different kind of blended learning blended learning means student can learn from their own pace so there are different type of blended learning the first one is station rotation station rotation means tasks are given to every student each and every student at different level as the need itself has a meaning station rotation means station wise suppose there is a class of 60 students at one time 20 students will meet their teachers and teacher is going to explain the things these 20 students are then forwarded and had been given and has been given another task that means they are into the group discussion they are into the collaborative activities and then these students 
are these 20 students and then are put onto the system online inst instructions are given by the computer right so these 20 students are then forwarded in the meanwhile uh, teacher uh, confronted to the next 20 students again these 20 students are given next task they are sent into the next level and then again to the third level of online instructions computer program second is enriched virtual enriched virtual means here focus is given on only online courses that means we can say that teachers is required only when they have a doubt most of the students are handling only online instructions. They are following only online instructions. But they only in the case of doubt, they require uh, teachers. Third one is flexible learning. They are flexible learning means students learn at their own pace. They are sitting at home and they are watching videos. Suppose MOOC courses available or Swayam or Coursera, edX. These are the some of the courses which are available and they have flexible learning. Flipped classroom is there. In traditional method, what we did, there is a lecture method and when, then we give a questions, five questions to the students and they come up with, they uh, completed the question and tell their students that I have completed the questions, tell their teachers, they tell their teachers that I have completed the assignment, whatever was given by you. Next day, this was just a traditional method. Flipped classroom is the extended, we can say it is also called extended e-learning. First, what the something, uh, some uh, topic is assigned to the students and then they have a collaborative discussion they uh, search it in the Google and then along with teacher, they have a discussion. So this is called flipped classroom. That means it is a combination of classroom teaching and online teaching. Next is self-directed. Self-directed means it follow five phases, four phases. Students to become a self-directed has to cross, has to face four stages. The first stage is dependent. Dependent means teacher is telling what to do. Here the role of the teacher is teaching them. The teacher give practice questions to them. Teacher give coachings to them, provide coachings to them. They make them understand the thing. But that means students are totally dependent on the teachers. When they understand the things, they are interested toward that thing. Here the role of teacher is like a motivator. They guide their students. They inspire with their lectures. They have a discussion in the class. Strategies, they adopt different strategies to make interest. In the mind of students. The third phase is the more you make the things interested, more people will get involved. Like in case of uh, seminar, group project, or we can say if there is a cultural program in the organization, more number of people will be involved if as an organizer. The more you involve, here students are doing, but you are just guiding them. You, your role is like a facilitator. Once you involve them, they feel happy. Then whatever you have suggested, they keep there in their mind and then they become self-directed. And the, they are here, the role of teacher is like a consultant. Generally, it is happened in at the time of field study or dissertation or internship program. So these are some of the few blended learning. Now, there are two more types of learning that is asynchronous learning and synchronous learning. I hope everybody having, is having an idea about synchronous and asynchronous learning. Uh, for example, suppose we are sitting here. Is this type of learning asynchronous or synchronous? We are having 
is whatever session is here is this type of asynchronous learning or synchronous learning synchronous yes synchronous learning means when students and teacher come together at the same time live streaming is there live chat is there this is the live streaming right asynchronous means we are engaging students with the course content but at different type like if we pro, uh, provide them ppts material quizzes or uh, we can have a online discussions that means if we assign any notes to the students if you post material that it is a asynchronous or we can say if a youtube channel is provided to you that means it is a type of asynchronous and this live telecast will be a synchronous learning right now again i will ask what you do to make your class more interactive by the use of ict tools by the use of ict tools how will you make your class more interactive with the use of ict tools during pandemic most of the student most of the students and more number of faculty members were not well versed with the ict tools but during that two years uh, more number of uh, students as well as uh, faculties with the involvement of change in technology they have now become more aware and they use interactive tools for example uh, suppose if i want to ask some question so i can use this random name picker this is the random name picker right suppose uh, there are some people in my meeting like charu ji akanksha ji amar ji so what i'll do just a minute what i'll be doing i will write their names akanksha ji amar ji anu ji anu ji ji randomly have to back to Okay. and then dr dipika dr shailja ji then i have dr iot academy is also there suppose if you want to pick any student in the class or in online class what you will do in class we have a piece of paper we write the piece of in the names in the piece of paper and uh, then we put it into the container and then we randomly pick it up similarly in this online meeting we can do the same thing and then spin click on spin i can add as much uh, names as i can you can enter n number of names so mr amar so suppose if i want to ask some questions from anyone any student here i have written mr amar so mr amar 
it is now your turn to answer this question so this type of games and fun activities we can include so my question was what to do to make your class more interactive so there are n number of ict tools available may i know which type of ict tool you are aware of up till now may i know which type of ict tool you are available up till now um common oh, cell phone madam cell phone computers yes, <laughs> yes. overhead projector uh, uh, all this <laughs> Okay, thank you, ma'am. Anyone else? If you want, you can write it in the chat box, or I will provide you one more link. There you will enjoy. I will provide you one more link. There you will enjoy writing there. Just a. in the meanwhile you can say in the meanwhile you can say if you know any other ic tools uh, world crowd and i will be sharing the code code for that google classroom so i will be sharing one code in your chat box just enter this just click on this link okay you have already posted it down okay thank you um quizzes right i have asked what type what the ict tools you are aware of up till now okay most of you have answered the question thank you so much have we mentioned this have been right because you learning chalk and up right synchronous okay what in quizzes right or right zoom google meet okay quizzes Uh, padlet okay podcast ipad tablet computer these are the devices <laughs> google classroom yes so i have given you one uh, i have shared one link with you all and there you have to write it down i hope it is clear what i have asked just click on that link and you have to write down what ict tools you are aware of okay you are writing it i think yes somebody has joined that link and he or she yes google meet puzzle zoom and the word cloud that i am using now it is also a part of ict tool that's why i encouraged you to join that link and enter the name of ict tool yes peer deck puzzles three people have joined up till now i can see from here this is many meter world crowd this is also ict tool ict tool include google slides also the slides available on uh, the uh, it is the product of google so these are some of the things that i have to include and i want somebody has written kahoot yes kahoot is also there blogs okay animation yes google classroom is there now my question to you is how do you make the class more interactive with the help of ict tools so i will tell you some tools here see if you want whiteboard to be present on your ppt or if you want your whiteboard because physical whiteboard is available only in the classroom if you are teaching online then these are the whiteboards available here a app canva zideboard these are free 
freely available. Jamboard, Miro, Classroom Screen, these are freely available. Stormboard, Twitterla, this is how we can use it up to 30 days. Whiteboard, Crippler, this is paid version. Again, it is uh, trial free, Limino, but after a few days, you have to pay. So I suggest you the online boards that you can use here is or app, but which I like the most is, which I like the most is whiteboard.fi. Whiteboard.fi. This I like the most because you can see what others are doing in the class. This is much better thing. If you are a teacher, then click on new class and uh, you have to enter the name, your email ID if it is required, and then create new class. Now, it see what I'll be doing. I just copy and paste it over here in your chat box. As soon as you join, I can also see your whiteboard also and you can write it down. See, I have given the link to you. Just click on this and uh, just add code number H8, this one. If it is required, code number is this. If it asks for code, then you can copy it from here. Just click on this whiteboard.fi and join the class. Raksha ji has joined the class. Most of the students have joined the class. The benefit is I can see what you are doing. You can write it there. You can uh, post image. Whatever you will be doing now, I can see it. And I have full control over your board also. See, most of the students have joined. Yes. Uh, Naina ji has joined, she is writing something and even I can, if I want, I can, whatever she is writing, I can quickly react, Take him. and even I can delete, erase whiteboard, but that means a teacher have full control over their whiteboards. You can see. Even you have an option, student have an option to click one photograph and put image over here. So I can see in the form of image. This is this would become your copy. Suppose Gauri ji is writing something. So if I want to delete something, so I can, what I'll do, I'll go to action and then I uh, erase whiteboard. In this way, I have erased what she has written. Even, see, Gauri ji was uh, writing something, but I have erased. Sorry for this. Uh, just wanted to give live demo. And uh, even I can, if you don't want your students to come in the class because they are coming late in the class, you can kick a student. Do not allow your student to enter into the class. So even you can save whiteboards. You can show your boards also. Student can see your toggle my board. So you can see, uh, anybody can see teacher's board, but it is quite difficult to see student's board. So this is the board which I like the most. Now, coming back to next tool, since my uh, the topic allotted to me was related to PPT presentation and uh, ICT tools. So there are different ICT tools available. The next tool which I would like to discuss is quiz. Assessment tools. Assessment tool is required. Assessment are two types. Formative assessment and summative assessment. Formative means during the class which you are teaching, you can randomly ask questions. Summative means at the end of the semester, right? So what you do if you are asking questions, if you are asking questions online, then what tools you have to include? Not only online. Suppose if you are teaching in the class and uh, uh, you want some MCQs type of question. So you can generate it. So what are the tools available? Quizlet, Playbus, Quizmaker, Survey Monkey. These are Quizpedia. These are freely available. Testmos, 
वन टू थ्री फॉर्म बिल्डर गूगल फॉर्म गूगल फॉर्म यू नो वेरी वेल कहूट हॉट पोटेटो क्लास मेकर बट विच आई लाइक द मोस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्विज एस क्विजेस दिस एस क्विजेस आई लाइक दिस I'm giving them off only those things which I like most. Quizzes. So here, what you can do if you take the premium version, you can do one more thing. That what you can do if you have a premium version, then you can speak. You you can ask questions. in a recorded video from the students um uh, mail id was i think this one no not this one so i'll be sharing one more ready made if i have some ready quiz then i will share with you that one my library see this this i am sharing no not this one because you cannot hear my voice there was something which what you can do is you can um, add your voice also so that's what i'm trying to add in the live session i think it is of ims kon sa tha please we will form preparation i will be sharing one this one this one i'll be sharing so you can have option of classic as well as instructor based if you want to control it in your in your hand then you can share this like this continue and i will share the code with you this will be on in the hands of instructor so Mm, you used to sit up and stop on. Continue. i'm sharing the link with you all this is the link i'm sharing mm this one google form and questionnaire preparation uh actually we are going out of time so in the next matlab ask organizer to include this session of one hour then i will definitely include this also 
So click on this quizzes link. As soon as you join, I will get to know. And once I click on this start button, then only you are able to answer the question. Once I click on stop, then you will not answer the question. So this is the another tool. Last one which I would like to discuss with you is some video recording tools. There are some video recording tools available like Screencastify, Screenomatic, OBS, Loom. So generally, if you want to make any recording of yours, video recording of yours, I generally what I prefer is Screencastify. It is a Google extension. You have to just download it. See, you can you see this Google extension? Under Google extension, I have this Screencastify. This is the video recording. But you can record up to five minutes. Record your video up to five minutes, then five minutes, then five minutes, and then merge it together. If you do not like this type of screen recording, then you can go for OBS. This I like the most. These two I like most. Another thing is that I would like to share with all of you how you can give notes to the students. Uh, have you ever heard about uh, you need a wiki? Have you ever heard about you need a wiki? Have you ever heard about you need a wiki? You need a wiki means it is a short form. Uh, whatever you have done in Google Classroom, what you do in Google Classroom, you post material, you can see not uh, notification, you allow students also uh, to post material over there, right? So these type of activities can be done in Google Classroom. But if you want to share your notes with the students, what you do, you just take PPT, download it and share it on WhatsApp group. Instead of this, what you can do, you can have youneedawiki.com. You need a wiki means it is it will be the in the uh, you can say it will be in the bookish form like this are the section under this section i have this i have created for students right suppose if i want to uh, share notes of statistic you can see this is section introduction under this section we have Subsection formulas are there, introduction are there, introduction, PPT, any number of things you can include. You can include page, Google Doc, Google uh, Sheet, slides, even Google Forms if you want to take any test, Google folder. So this is in uh, bookish form where you can incorporate all the notes. Uh, suppose I'll give you one demo of this. Not demo, I'll share with you. You can have a look on this. The only thing is I have to share the something different one. No, not this one. See, suppose if I click on this corporate finance, under corporate finance, I have working capital numerical. The numerical of a particular section was there. See, student can also see this, can have access on this. If I want to add theory, then I can add theory. Whatever you are adding, that will be automatically saved because it will be in Google Drive. I have prepared notes for the students of cost accounting. I can add n number of things over there. See, introduction, under this section, I have theoretical part, PPT part. Student can see it properly. So you need a wiki is very uh, demanding and uh, manageable uh, tool. Ma'am, screen is not oh, showing. So sorry. Visible. So sorry. See. This is
not with the students you can uh, prepare notes for the students and under this you have n number of section section one under this section what you can add uh, subsections you have added this is the second unit labor costing labor under labor costing i can add some subsections introduction numerical solutions right these are some of the things which i can include this i can include in excel format in pdf format in ppt format and people if you allow your students to have access on this they can easily view this they cannot make any changes until and unless you give right to them see ppt you can make changes you can just add on the things whatever you are you want to add and just give right of view to the students so that they can easily view on these topics um, suppose i'll be sharing this this I'll, I'll be sharing with you this is a solution of some questions i'll be sharing with you so that you can have some idea about this if you don't want to show it publicly keep it private shareable link means once you share the link with those people to whom you want to share only those people can see it see this one so this is from my side thank you so much and if you have any question then you may please ask the session is open for discussion now. You can unmute and interact with the resource person or you can post the questions in the chat box also. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all. Once you click on that link now, uh, the three bars will appear. You have to click on the top left corner side, three bars will appear and then click on that three bar automatically this this section you can see thank you so much ma'am thank you g thank you thank you so much thank you if you have any query can you please ask Um, shall I leave the session or shall uh, we are going, are we going to wind up the session now or uh, thank you. Dikima. Any questions, any questions participants? Thank you. Thank you so much. I think there are no questions. Ma so uh, shall ma we if you have any questions, then you can uh, have it on the chat box. You can post it in the chat box. Yeah, yeah. Google form uh, making a procedure yes. entirely like a workshop. Yes. I request because it will take one session. hour uh, because I have to explain all the things how to make, how to prepare Google form, what we can include in Google form. So I request organizer. You can talk to organizer. So then we can have this one hour session on this exclusively on Google. I think there are no queries. Ma'am, shall we wind up, ma'am? Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the participants. On behalf of IOT Academy, we thank Dr. Priyanka, ma'am, for the enlightening and interesting session. We thank you once again for the amazing presentation, ma'am.
thank you for enhancing our knowledge with a commendable presentation ma'am thank you very much for your efforts ma'am i thank all the participants for joining this session today thank you all kindly submit the feedback form thank you sir kindly you are welcome ma'am kindly submit the feedback form using the link that has been posted in the chat box thank you all